Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we've had a major solar flare eruption on the sun today. An X-class. This is an X-flare. Uh, an X 1.8 class. It, it happened today off that big sunspot of AR2242. And I think I talked to you guys about that earlier in the week. Uh, how that that sunspot may produce more solar flares. It has today. Uh, and it, uh, NASA is saying that the Solar Dynamics Observatory captured the explosion extreme ultraviolet flash. And it was Earth-facing. That's why it has such a um, brilliant looking... It, it literally, it glared the camera because the ca it was directly Earth-facing. That's why you have that distorted look from that eruption. A very powerful. This uh, a pulse of X-rays, UV radiation from this flare reached the Earth minutes after the explosion. Just minutes. All right? Uh, because it was direct facing the earth. So it did not take it long. Uh, it did affect, it blacked out some, uh, some of the HF radio communications over Australia and in the South Pacific. Uh, anything below 10 megahertz uh, transmissions were strongly uh, affected for two hours. The explosion also hurled a CME into space. Click, and you can, uh, what it did, it just continues to affect and uh, disrupt communications. Uh, but like we said, this was a very powerful, I mean, we've had bigger X flares, but what I'm saying is an X.18 is huge. And when it's directly facing the earth like that, and then it reaches the earth in minutes and it fries something, something's going to fry. It just depends where it hits uh, at the direct point of contact. And Australia and the South Pacific is where it, it hit. And, and it definitely affected radio communications in those areas. We're, we're blessed, folks. We're blessed it did not fry some major power grid somewhere to a major city. I mean, we are. Uh, and always remember this. The Bible says there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, he said, Look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. Can find that Jesus' words of end time apocalyptic events in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 21, 25 through 28. It's very important to get things right with God because there is so many apocalyptic events. For instance, just besides this solar flare today, you had a 5.9 earthquake hit where Fukushima's crippled nuclear power plant. And just two days ago, Tokyo Electric Power Company said that six tons of radioactive water spilled from the power plant and seep and seep, seep deep, deep, deep into the ground. I'm Paul Begley. I'm serious. I'm just trying to help us all understand the apocalyptic nature of the moment. Christ is coming. Are you saved? We'll keep an eye on what's going on up in the heavens and track what's going on here on the earth. Give your life to Jesus Christ.